There are new pandemic highs in several North Texas counties. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Dallas County is more than 1,800 new cases. Today is a daily high. Tarrant County's 900 new cases is lower than most recent days, but its daily hospitalization number is a high. And Denton County reported a high of 335 new cases. And COVID-19 patients are currently using 13.4% of all available hospital beds in the North Texas region. We're going to be hearing more about this metric in the coming days and weeks. According to Governor Abbott's order, public health restrictions automatically kick in if that number exceeds 15% for seven consecutive days. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has more on the concerns with the surge tonight. Stephen. As you guys mentioned, we continue to see record highs when it comes to North Texas hospitals inching closer to the governor's threshold that would trigger the scaling back of some reopenings. The four most populated counties in North Texas all broke COVID-19 records in the last two days. Dallas County reported its highest one day total of new cases. Tarrant, Collin and Denton counties reported their highest levels of hospitalizations. If 10 is like the sky is completely falling down, right, <clears throat> and one is like I'm just going to kick back and have a drink, um, I'm probably at a 8.25, <laughs> something like that. I mean, we're pretty worried here. In Dallas County, there's been a 37% increase in new cases among school-aged children. Dallas ISD closed Kalet Elementary School in northwest Dallas last week because of an outbreak. Students returned to the classroom Tuesday. While cases rise, a bigger indicator of the severity of COVID spread is in our hospitals. About a month ago, Parkland Hospital had 80 COVID patients. Over the last couple of weeks, we have now shot up to 140 or so, um, with 20 of those coming just this weekend. So, uh, as you can tell, it's really accelerating over the last week um, with no end in sight. Governor Abbott has said some aspects of the reopening will automatically roll back if 15% of total hospitalizations in our region reach 15% or higher for seven consecutive days. That means bars close and restaurants and retail will go back down to 50% capacity. Here's a snapshot of our area, Trauma Service Region E, which includes most of our viewing area and Grayson County. Dallas County has nearly 12% of beds being used by COVID patients. Tarrant County has the highest with 15%. Denton County had a record 121 patients Monday with nearly 14%. Collin County also reported a record Monday, 304 patients, 11% capacity. Our region percentage is at 13.4%, the highest since the pandemic started. Luckily, the deaths are not above that by any means. So that's probably more of a matter of a lot of the elderly people and chronically ill people are doing a very good job of staying inside and staying away from people as much as they can. With Thanksgiving and Black Friday approaching now more than ever, health officials want people to stay in the smallest groups possible and continue to wear a mask. The masks do help to some degree. They don't prevent it, but they do help. It's going to multiply. Uh, if you don't think it matters to you personally, you just need to think of others. It does matter. And we did not get a hospital report from Dallas County today. We will get a report tomorrow, which will give us a peek into how bad the situation continues to be here locally and in North Texas. Guys.